Hi, I'm the Calculus Professor, and today we'll be talking about definite integrals. In problem number 41, I want to use the fact that the integral from 0 to 4 of 3x times x, I'm sorry, 4 minus x dx equals 32 to find four different integrals. Okay? The first integral that I'd like to find is the integral from 4 to 0 of 3x times 4 minus x dx. And you'll notice that the only difference really between this integral and the integral that I started with are the limits of integration. On this integral, the limits go from 4 to 0, and on this one from 0 to 4. So it would be really nice if these were switched, then I would know exactly what uh, my integral is. Well, I can switch these. If I switch these, though, I have to add a negative sign to the beginning of my integral. So at any time you can flip the limits of integration, you just have to add a negative at the beginning. So what I can do is I could rewrite this. This is equal to negative integral from 0 to 4 of 3x times 4 minus x dx. But I know what that integral is. That's what I started with. It's 32. So I just have negative 32. So the answer is negative 32 for part A. Now let's come up here to part B. In part B, uh, I have the integral from 0 to 4 of x times x minus 4 dx. All right, so integral from 0 to 4 of x times x minus 4 dx. Well, there are a couple things that are a little bit different than the integral that I started with here. The first thing that's different is I don't have a 3 right here, right? I have a 1. The second thing that's different is I have an x minus 4 not a 4 minus x. Both of these things are easy to deal with. Let's take it one step at a time. First of all, I have an x here, and I want a 3x. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in the 3, because that's what I want. But I can't just go around multiplying things by 3. I have to multiply them by 1. So if I'm multiplying this by 3, then I better also multiply it by 1 third to cancel that 3. Now, constants can move in and outside of integral signs, so this is perfectly fine to write one of them outside the integral and one of them inside the integral. In fact, it's a trick we'll use many more times when we're doing integration. Okay, so we have 1 third on the outside, 3 on the inside. Now, that's good. I've got my 3, but I still have the problem of this x minus 4. Well, if I just factor out a negative 1 from this guy, this becomes a 4 minus x. So let's do it. And I can rewrite this as uh, negative 1 third times the integral from 0 to 4 of 3x times 4 minus x dx. I factor out this negative uh, from x minus 4, and I move that negative all the way to the outside because constants can move through integration signs. So now what do we have? We have negative one-third times an integral that I know. I know the answer is 32. So it's negative one-third times 32, or if you prefer, it's negative 32 thirds. And that's the answer to part B. Now let's look at part C. In part C, the 4 minus x piece is right. I've got the dx. I've got a 6x instead of a 3x. And I've got integral from 4 to 0 instead of from 0 to 4. So I need to flip these guys. We know how to do that now. I just add a negative to the front. And this 6 needs to be a 3. But let me rewrite this thing. I already said if I just flip these guys, I get a negative. So let's say a negative integral from 0 to 4 of 6x. But 6 is 2 times 3. And I want it to be a 3. 
So let's just write it as 2 times 3 x times 4 minus x dx. 2's, this 2 is a constant. Constants can move through integral signs. So it's just as good written here as it is written out here. So really quick, I'm just going to take that 2 and put it on the outside. But now I have exactly the integral that I know is 32 times negative 2. So I get negative 2 times 32, or if you prefer, negative 64. And that's my answer to part C. In part D, I'm asked to compute the integral from 0 to 8 of 3x times 4 minus x dx. Now, and all I really have to work with is this integral. Well, I can't do anything with this because this is going from 0 to 8, and going from 0 to 4 really doesn't tell me anything about the function beyond 4. So I can't really do anything with this because it's going from 0 to 8. So there's nothing that can be done with the tools that we get to work with on this problem. So part A, answer is negative 32. Part B, negative 32 over 3. And part C, negative 64. Part D, it can't be done.